everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo and I'm here reviewing The Spy and what a move the market has had. It, an incredible move. Just even in the last week the market has had a beautiful move. 255 was a real target above 250 for The Spy. We actually hit through 250 and we really never looked back. We went straight to 255 or almost. Let's just see the high of the day. 2.45 in the afternoon, we basically got there. Less than 40 cents from the target, boom. I mean, what? We should rally into the close today. I don't see anything stopping us. This is what I would call buying. It's happening in the market. And if we go back to September, September 11th actually, the market gapped up, held this gap up here, and this was a gap that actually broke out in the market that lifted the SPY up to new highs, not, not a 248.91. Well, it was about a dollar 30 over it. So we gapped up and then rallied and made a new high that day on the day on 9-11. And we've held ever since. So what a very nice move. We were bullish in September, which is typically unusual. Again, I do not make decisions based on stuff like time of the year calendar stuff you know I, I never have looked at that actually I don't find any good information from that but I'm pointing it out because some people say well September's bearish I've never really taken that into account but I do want to point out that this year in September it was not and the market had a beautiful move so people thought the market was lower here had made a top has made a double top did a series of lower highs and lower lows and then we lifted over the high and we have never looked back, like I said. And we should hit 255 today. I mean, we might run in a day. Where do we go from here? We'll just have to wait and see. Really hard to buy here for the short term. But for the long term, the market looks like it's going to continue the uptrend. So obviously, if you went long in here, or if you even went long in here, or if you've been long the market at any of the buy points in here, going back for the last year or even longer, what a beautiful bullish move this market has had. I do not see this being the end. Also, I don't make trading decisions or predict stocks based on them hitting, you know, tops or bottoms. All I think that this confirmed this move of the market, which is just happening on its own, which is getting bought, is that in fact we really are headed for a very bullish time in the market. More bullish than we've ever seen. And I did describe this a while ago where I said, look for what is gonna look like almost panic buying, where people jump into the market in a panic that they didn't get it to get, to get the move higher. And that's, that's not what's happening here. I just want to just notice that. I'm saying I see that that's going to set up like that. We're going to set up like that. I called the SPY to hit 250 about a year and a half ago. I saw it was there. I thought it would happen in 2016. And we, we lagged most of 2016, if you go back here until the election, with a drop off that started the year, but never turned the trend around. Uh, but in 2015, I'm just going to go back here, I saw that we would hit this number. It's pretty amazing because it was a long time ago now that I think about it. It just took a long time here to get here after the way that we started 2016's year. Let me go back and show you where I saw this. No, it was 2014. Holy crap. It was 2014 that I saw. Hold on. No. 2014 I saw we hit this number. Wow, I thought it was 2015. Let me just see. very interesting the longer that I'm watching charts here let me just I just want to show all this here if I can get 
kid on a lunch chart. Thank you, Ken. Wow. I'm going to find the video. <laughs> Here. I remember it because it was Halloween. It was almost three years ago that I saw this buy would hit 250. We rallied here, this is 2015, and then we had that crap that happened in the summer. And then we were still strong, but it was hard for us to make that secondary move then in 2015. Then we started lagging in 2016, but we made up the ground more, really made up the ground in 2016, and the election happened and we've taken off. But I saw this here, I've got to find that video. I'm gonna find that video on my YouTube. I thought it was 2015. I saw in 2014 the more spy would hit 250. So, you know, I think the real benefit of at really anyone that comes and decides they want to trade in the daily room with me will hear all the things that I say. I mean, there's people who have been with me since 2014 since I said it. I'm sure they remember me saying that. Students that have been the room traders. I think the benefit, again, one of the reasons I'm so able to predict things for so long is that I really I'm able to predict where something's gonna go based on the stock or the market gapping. So I saw that three years ago, that's pretty phenomenal to me. So looking at this here now, I see the bullish move continuing, the market's getting bought. This is not the final move, this is not the end. In fact, when I look at something like this, I look at this actually as almost the beginning of a new move, which I know sounds crazy, but I can tell when I'm watching the way that this is trading. It's so natural. It's this is very controlled. This is a very controlled buying action. It's actually looks like an angel. <laughs> so this is a very beautiful controlled move up. So this is not the end of this move. This is barely the beginning. This is new buying coming into the market and it's just it's fantastic to look at so we'll see where we go from here and we'll really really continue watching it and seeing 255 don't know if we hit that today close enough remember targets are areas and I'll be watching to see because earnings season starts next week and there'll be a lot of stocks big movers that are going to be reporting in the next two months and it'll be really really interesting to see how we end up closing this calendar year in 2017 have a wonderful day, everyone. And if you want to learn what I do, then you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to learn how to predict movements in stocks in the market. If you would like to learn how to day trade gaps, you can email me. I teach a class. It's October 14th and 15th. Have a great day, everyone.